Hi everyone, welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16. I'm back where we left off and I'm ready to head to the Naldia Narrow. So please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and let's get into it. Oh boy. The Naldia Narrow. The Enterprise. Between here and Walud. But any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash in the south? With these winds in those waters, it took him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Okay. Mid cool. knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us, lot, anyway. I see we do as she tells. Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Oh, damn. Look alive, boys. Pull ahead and keep those furnaces fed. Aye, aye. Do you feel that, Jill? Yeah. All hands. You've got to get her. Skill can do. Wow. See his armor now. Where one leads, so does the other follow. The bond of consciousness which joins them, condemning both to the same fate. It's my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Fascinating. Whoa. But then there is naught my blade cannot sever. Sheesh. Right, yeah, good. Clive Joshua. Go, 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 go. I'll find her. Hell yeah, Clive. Let's get Jill. Joshua? Through the maelstrom. Right oh. Where did you hide her on
On you go. Come on, come on. It's over fifty thousand. Okay. Got him. Okay, where do I go? for me timbers Joshua No There he is he wants him alive Hold on I'm coming for both of you. Come on now. Okay. The 
Einherr, the Einherjar. The flagship of the Walud Navy, also known as the Black Galleon, is a vast seven-masted vessel constructed of three conjoined galleys and could aptly be described as a floating fortress. Alongside the Royal Cavalry, it is the pride of Walud and is capable of swiftly delivering elite troops onto enemy soil to make war in the name of the mighty Odin. Jill was kept prisoner here after being captured by King Barnabas. The Enterprise, the Hideaway's mithril engine powered flagship, designed by the father and daughter team of Sidolphus and Mididol Telamon to serve as a last hope for humanity should all of Valisthea be lost to the blight, and constructed in secret in the ironworks on the outskirts of Canva. The mithril which with which it is fueled is a highly concentrated source of energy, allowing the ship to achieve speeds thrice that of a galleon at full mast. Barnabas Tharno. King of Ulud and dominant of Odin, the Warden of Darkness. Though his nation's isolation in Ash allows Barnabas to remain aloof from the affairs of Storm, and he has oft elected to do precisely that. His movements of late would suggest that he has ambitions on the Western continent. Joshua again, dominant of the Phoenix and younger brother of Clive. After surviving the disaster at Phoenix Gate, he devoted himself to uncovering the truth behind the emergence of the second icon of fire. With the help of the Undying, he obtained a copy of the journal of Moss, the Chronicler, from whose pages he learned of the existence of Ultima, the creature he was later to meet with and seal away inside of himself in the sanctuary of Drake's head. Now reunited with his brother, he and Clive fight as one to defeat Ultima and forge a new fate for mankind. The Kingdom of Walud, the sole surviving nation in Ash. Walud has its capital at Stonhir, uh, yeah, Stonhir, home to the Mother Crystal of Drake's Spine. It is ruled over by Barnabas Thrum, dominant of Odin and Warden of Darkness, who, it transpires, has formed an alliance with the mysterious being known as Ultima. down this way. This is where I came from. I think this is where I came from. So where do I go? Ah, oh, here we go. Another entrance. Alright, cool. Here we are. So hard to see. I thought I got a new thing. Okay. okay I was just checking that there's nothing else I missed in this room. Okay, cool. Let's go. This way. Jill! You came! Of course! Get back! I'll explain 
Hands. Do you need anything? Are you okay? Can you walk? Out of here, I can. Hell yeah, Jill. Stand still. Phoenix. Are you not the dominant of fire? I see naught before me but a guttering flame. Uh -oh. He transformed. Damn. In the yes. can cut through anything. Sheesh! Oh, my freaking God. Jill. Um, this doesn't seem safe. Take you back, I think so. But to, to where? That's what I'm saying. survive this consciousness in which you coil your feeble souls is grown thick with desperation and thus has my master turned to my blade the world will soon be painted in black and all that live shall gather in death's autumn wake. Not if we remove the cause of this misery. Not if we destroy the last of the Mother Crystals and restore balance to the world. Come. Do you truly think it's so simple? A blight is inevitable. Not even the Almighty might stop its endless march. Your efforts will avail us naught. Naught, that is, but suffering. You must embrace the truth, Mythos. Accept your place with the Lord. Hell no. Keep it. <laughs> yes. As long as there's a chance, there's a choice. 
never led astray by your blind resolve. As are you. Now, it is time you learn the inevitability of your divine fate. However much it may hurt. as far away as you can. Please, Jill. Clive, no. Trust me, Jill. Okay. There's a plan in this, Jill. You got this. Oh, it's a good toggle there. All right, I'm taking the strength tonic. Let's freaking go. not how it works. Say it ain't real, bro. It doesn't matter if you don't believe in it. If reason cannot sway you, there are other reason can't sway you. I will not. And thus is the light of hope severed. You would yield so soon. Never. Life. <laughs> Oh no. Did I fail? Do you not see? Your iron will weighs you down, dragging you ever further from your purpose. And what is my purpose? Mythos. Who are we? What are the dominance? The breath of the Creator still warm on our lips. We carry his light that we might guide the masses in his name. We are but mighty acts of God. We are more than that! You would be nothing without what he has granted you. The power we wield is his, and yet wow. every time we draw upon it, it wears away at our very being. Yeah. It breaks us, it unmakes us, that its immaculate aspect might reveal itself. The Icon. It is too much for even his chosen few. Damn. 
apart from you, Mythos. You wield the might of many, yet your body does not answer for its avarice. Yeah. What are you saying? What I am saying... What happens is that to... we dominance are a means to an end. Ooh. We were created for you, that you might drink deep of our strength and thereby fulfill your divine purpose, which is to feed. As you would know, could you only look beyond the walls of your prison of self-regard. As long as you choose to ignore this, you shall never penetrate my defenses. Still, you may take solace in the fact that you are not alone in your plight. The chains of volition shackle all of mankind, but there is yet cause to rejoice. For the Lord in his mercy has taken pity on his flawed creations shall see them restored to their proper forms. Jeez. And what exactly would that be? Why, loyal servants to God. No. <laughs> Manners, Lord Rossfield. They are men, like you and me. Albeit ones uh, unburdened by the wills that drive our kind to madness. They are pure. They are divine. They want the whole world to be Akashic. You need to turn everyone Akashic. Not turn, Mythos. Turn back. For too wow. long has mankind been led astray by their clamorous wills. It is time they return to a world of quiet equality, where they might once more know salvation. Salvation? And abandon everything we hold dear? We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves, and we'll do it on our own terms. Not yours, and not your gods. Hell yeah. With every defiant expression of your will, the tighter the chains of consciousness become. But perhaps that fact may be put don't, to use. Don't, don't, don't touch her. <sighs> Clive! Oh, shoot. The faster it binds you to the remaining dominance, the stronger your hunger will become. Until it leads you back to the only answer there ever was. Mayhap not by the path my master intended, but back all the same. Ash is not far. I could freeze a path. You're in no fit state. Probably not, but I can try. <laughs> oh, chill. Don't look back. I've bested. Shadow Coast, Western Ash. I hope the others are safe. The Enterprise was clear of the gap when we fell. They made it, Jill. And they will have seen the eyes where it led. We need only wait till dawn. Are we drying our clothes? That's hot. This is the second time Barnabas has bested me. I'm powerless against him. 
then maybe there really is nothing else for it but to give yourself to his master. Hell no. Only you won't do that. The Clive I know would never do that. Exactly. So you believe? But do you really know me? Of course she does. If what Barnabas said was true, then I'm more monster than man. And each time I summon the flames from within, I burn away the things that make me who I am. Do you, though? Yeah, do. Think of what you've used that power for. You've become more oh, yourself than ever. You've saved. It doesn't matter how or by whom it was exactly. granted. Only how you choose to use it. Amen. And you've chosen to use it for good, haven't you? I've also used it to kill. my purpose what if it's all I'm good for you're still that same boy I grew up with always so eager to save everyone around you and yet always so alone Because you failed to realize the one thing that needed saving most of all. You, Clive. You. You never once took the time to save yourself. Myself. I think I might be beyond saving. No one is beyond saving. Provided they want to be saved. That is true. As long as they you want to. You fight to survive. And you survive so that you may protect those you love. It's what you do. What you've always done. I know you're not about to change. So I'm going to help you. To give you what you need to protect us all. Jill. Are you sure? If this is what you want, then... <sighs> Don't wow, pout. Clive. It is. So I'm gonna get Shiva's power? This burden... I'll give you the strength to bear it alone. But I'm not alone. And you won't be alone ever. Please. I carry my sins, my pain, my sorrow. I see now that they are all a part of me. This is so beautiful. I love, and I will gladly. 
gladly bear your burdens too. Until my last breath. Clive. I promise you, Jill. We will find a way to escape this fate. Fate will not have its nasty claws on us. Find a way to save each other. It's true, you guys are saving each other. That we might one day look upon the moon again, together. Kiss right now or I swear to God. And I promise you, Clive, that I will be there, no matter what you must become. And always be here to save each other. I never thought a smile could bring me so much joy. Oh, I'm going to cry. That's hot. <laughs> I'm like kind of tearing up. I love them so much. I'm so in love with you. <laughs> Yo, I freaking love love. I s <laughs> okay, so like, when's the wedding? Let's go. What of Barnabas? Do we pursue him? No. Our paths will cross again soon enough. Whether we like it or not. Besides, there is something we must do first. Get married. Of course. Ah. All that, Drink yes. Spine. The last mother crystal. And we'll do it together. The Einherja is at the bottom of the sea. Walud won't dare move on storm without her. But they know we're coming now. That's true. We'll need a plan. And a damn good one at that. Then let's go home and find one. Hell yes. Ash will have to wait. We'll work it out together. The promise that they'll always protect each other. <laughs> I love them so much! Okay. To the hideaway. Mead says Odin split the sea in two. She's always been partial to a tall tale. But there's tall, and then there's tall. <laughs> there's tall, and then there's tall. I struggle to believe it myself. And we were literally in it. He stayed with the Enterprise. After our brush with the Einherja, she was in urgent need of repair. And my uncle knows a shipwright in Randalar. And he was gathering an army in Randalar as well. I'm sure that's wise. 
Last I heard, the place was still overrun with Akashic. Show me a city where that isn't. Yeah, I was about to say. Ultima's plague is spreading. We're running out of time, aren't we? We've done our best to shore up the hideaway. But I doubt a few planks will stop what's coming. Still, we'll keep at it. Every little helps, I suppose. Let's hope so. Across the narrow. The power of ice. Oh, look at the icon, it's so pretty. Clive has claimed a portion of the icon Shiva's essence. Attuning with Shiva not only changes the elemental aspect of Clive's magic spells, but also allows access to several new iconic abilities, such as Ice Age, which forcefully knocks back enemies great distances. Oh, hell yeah. Shiva's feet. Shiva's iconic feet cold snap can be used to swiftly move left and right. Oh, cool. Forward or back to either dodge attacks or close in on an enemy. That's hot. should visit Joshua. Assuming Tai will allow it. Is Joshua okay? Okay, so the side quests are locked for the moment. Fair enough. And I should also... Shiva channeled. Let's check it out. Ooh, that's cool. I like that. Oh, that's cool as hell. Okay, yeah. I'm going to put that on here. Shiva. And change it to Ice Age. This is cool. This is very cool. Okay. And then let's do abilities. So what's this one? A winter storm that freezes enemies in place within a radius before dealing. Oh, that's freaking cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna learn that. I might replace that with this and keep that move. Yeah. Okay, lovely. All right, what else shall I upgrade? Damn, 4,000. Okay, never mind. Um, all right, yeah, let's upgrade that. Cool. 3,000 to upgrade that gun. Dang. really use that much but it's cool alrighty cool let's go everyone's here hi how are you feeling Joshua better than I was but not nearly as well as you should be your cuts and burns may have healed but your body still bears the burden of every spell cast and what would you have had me do it was no ordinary foe we faced it was the Warden of Darkness. Yeah. Yet still, it was not enough. The King could have ended me at any moment, but instead chose to toy with me like a curl does a mouse. Yeah. You, you underestimate yourself. Oh, it was crystal clear. Only one man established his dominance that day, and that man was Barnabas. I'm sorry, brother. That was ill-spoken. Oh, it's, it's okay. just, I have never felt so powerless. Aww. And when so many are looking to us for strength, perhaps, uh, perhaps the prince feels the same. Totally. The Crystalline Dominion. Nameless Slum.
The little girl brought Dion back to mend his wounds. So little. Don't move. It's fresh from the well. She's the one that's always been trying to sell medicinal properties and stuff. Grandmother told me spirits sometimes get lost, and that the lanterns guide them to their proper place. I set one on the river for her when she passed away. They're very pretty. <laughs> They're absolutely beautiful. Was it you who guided my hand then, Ultima? You must feel so much guilt. No, not you. This is my doing, my fault, my sin to bear. And for it, I must atone. Your hurts are healing nicely. It was my poultices that saw you well. You make them. And sell them. Or to try to. <laughs> yeah, she tries to sell them. No one wants them. Bread, most days. Aww. Forgive me. I have nothing to. I know, but I couldn't just leave you lying there. Aww. <sighs> You're going then. Of course. I'm healed. Thanks to you and your poultices. Mm. Will you promise to come back and visit? Oh, she's so cute. Phoenix, it would seem that I owe you my wings. Aww. Perhaps he can find an answer. You will be returning to Walud soon, I gather. I see no reason to wait. Then neither do I. <laughs> I can think of a few. <laughs> but I don't those Taya's like, no one ever listens to me! Your medicine. Of course, Lady Taya. <laughs> Sit on leaving already, are you? How long will it take us to get back to Ash? Dunno, about the same amount of time it took us to get here. 
Maybe less. If your uncle can find someone trustworthy to patch up the Enterprise. All depends on where we're putting into port, mind. Yes. It's not as if we can put ashore wherever we choose. That's true. We have to assume that the whole of Ash is hostile. And that we'll be attacked on sight. Yeah. Then we must find a place they won't think to look. And I have an idea who might know of one. The Professor! I'll go and tell you coming! <laughs> While you're plotting our course, I'll be in the shelves with your lawsmen. Yeah. Pick his brains about Ultima. Oh good, good. Give him your info as well. The journey. They may not be easy to come by in Ash. Thank you, Jill. I love you all. <laughs> your brother's body won't take much more of this recklessness. You know that, don't you? I do. Oh, Taya, I'm sorry. Okay. Alright, well, before I continue with some main stuff, I should probably do some of the side stuff. If I can. Can I do... Yes, good, I can. Okay. Let's go do the um, blacksmith blues. Go to Dravozd. Before I continue. Okay. Okay, so I go and this way. Yes. Opportunity beckons. Who among you is bold enough? Yeah, and then I turn right. Cool. Okay. Yep. All right, Chocobo. Ambrosia. Come on. Faster. Hello everybody. That was rude. Oh yeah, I didn't change the power of it. Oh wait, I can't during battle. I'll do it after. <laughs> Now I'll change it to, so it's in this one. So, this one, there we go. Okay, let's change. It to diamond dust, hell yeah. And then we'll make this one into that's my eyes. Yes. Good. Okay. Lovely. <sighs> Oopsies. Wrong button. Ready, go. Cool. <laughs> Run like the wind. All right. So now it's cool to the right. My sweet Bobo. Kick 
done already? No. This charmer ain't letting anyone through. Why are the gates closed? Chief's orders. No one's allowed in without his say so. Not that I'd have let you in anyway. You look like trouble. <laughs> you look like trouble. Damn. I suggest you go home. That's what I'm trying to do, you little prick. Oh, damn. You changed a bit, have you, Snotty? Snotty. <laughs> it isn't. Blackthorn. Long time no see, eh? What the hell are you doing here? Well, it was meant to be a surprise, but since you are so nicely, <laughs> I'm here to see Zoltan, you fucking numbskull. Now let us through. All right. Just... Don't go starting anything with the Chief. Yeah, I promise I won't throw the first punch. Uh, good enough for you. That is pretty good. Thank you for not throwing the first one. Go on then. I love how they were all so soft spoken. Much obliged. <laughs> or at least so far. Just like Blackthorn. So this is Dravoshd. Not much going on, is there? <laughs> it's a smithing town. When I was a lad, you'd have to shout to be heard over the sound of hammer on anvil. Clive, you're good with people. You speak to Sultan. Hey, you ain't backing out now, are you? There's a river of bad blood between me and the chief. But if someone can build me a bridge, then I'll cross it. I'll try. All right. I'll see what I can do. I appreciate it. It'll be near the forge on the hill. It was our master's. He'd have inherited it when I left. The forge on the hill. Uh, good luck. You'll be needing it. Oh boy, thanks. <laughs> We can't fire the forges. How are we going to earn our keep? Mama. It's very, very quiet at the moment. Hotter, hotter, damn it! Those miserable flames wouldn't melt butter, let alone iron. Pardon the intrusion. I'm looking for the chief. That'd be me. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'll bet it is. <laughs> Keep the gates closed, I tell him. Well done, snotty. I'm not <laughs> welcome here. Get out. Before things turn nasty. Blackthorn's here. What did you say? He's travelled a long way to see you. <sighs> yes, has he? He's waiting. Down by the gates. Then I suggest you take him with you when you leave. Damn. Didn't you apprentice together? So what if we did? Fuck! We're getting nowhere! These bearers' flames are next to bloody useless! Would you we're like never going to with a fire up the forges unless we can find some new crystals. I'm a busy man, as you can see, so do me a favor and piss off. Oh. And if you're struggling to find your way out, ask Blackthorn. That prick knows exactly where the exit is. He's not wanted here. And neither are you. All right. I'm going. How about after I do a favor of flame? No? Hmm. Please, Chief, you've got to do something. If this keeps up, we'll be ruined. Well, I'm just going to steal your stuff while I leave. <laughs> Thanks. But if we can't fire the forges, how are we going to earn our keep? Shut. Let me guess. Zoltan told you to piss off. Yep. As a personal favor to him, yes.
Well, at least he didn't beat about the bush. There'll be no talking him round. Not after what I did. Which is what exactly? If we're to help, we need to know. What turned the village against you? I left. Dravoshd. Zoltan. The burden of leadership our dying master dropped in our laps. <laughs> All of it. There are two kinds of sniffs in this world, you see. My kind, who are in it for the love of the craft. We will labor on a single piece from dawn to dusk to get it just right. And the other kind, who are in it for different reasons. People like Zoltan, whose work is quick and cheap. The kind of smiths who shit out a few hundred blades, reap the profit and divvy it out among themselves. Damn. It wasn't a single day we weren't each other's throats. And bit by bit, people started taking sides. We would have torn Dravoshd in half had it gone on. So, I left. You didn't have to do that. Zoltan's a better chief than I would have been. His way of doing things kept food on people's tables. Damn. Dravoshd prospered without me and my lofty ideals getting in the road. Until the crystals run out at any rate. Without magic to fire the furnaces, this place is as good as dead. It depends on how you look at it, though. There's got to be other ways of making fire. We manage it in the Deadlands. Exactly. Thanks to Sid's ingenuity, yeah. He saw all of this coming. New crystals were the problem, not the solution. And spent years coming up with ways of doing without. You know what I mean, though, right? Where there's a will, there's, there's yeah, a way. There's a way to make fire without crystals. What I'm crystals. trying to say is that it's not your fault. You couldn't have predicted this. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I don't want to be the greatest smith alive just because I happen to be the last. Clive. Dravosh won't last long without its furnaces. So, do you think it's time we shed Sid's bellows with the world? The way I see it, it's your decision to make. Oh. Hold on, Blackthorn. Sid made those things for us. They give us an edge over the rest. No, Sid wanted everyone to make decisions for themselves and to be allowed to... Right. Do it. Yeah. This place was your home. I won't abandon it to its fate. Sid's creations were never meant to be hoarded. Exactly. It was only ever a matter of time before we shared them. Mm -hmm. Let this... Be another step on the road to freeing Valisthea from the prison of the crystal's exactly. blessing. Exactly, exactly. That's Bravo what Sid would have wanted. The world that is possible. Wouldn't you agree, August? When you put it that way. Mm-hmm. Of course. It's like hearing Sid speak from beyond the grave. <laughs> Thank you, Clive. Shall I go and fetch the plans, then? I know I'm off by art. I'll be needing some help, though. Of course, Moving I can... The furnace isn't exactly a one-man job. Do us a favor and round up anyone strong enough to lug a brick or two, would you, August? Uh, all right then. No, <laughs> all right. Uh, See if they I've listen. Got a job for you too, Clive. Finding me some salamander skin. I need leather for the bellows okay. and nothing else will withstand the heat. Specifically, us, salamanders. Salamanders feed out in the fields of Carava. Time for a spot of hunting, man. All right. Time to murder some uh, salamanders. Okay, let's, uh, let's go get him. Let's go. Salamander hunting. The salamander is at rest. Let's make this quick, shall we? Dang, you big. All right, let's go. Okay. 
guy's strong, boy. Sheesh. Boom. Got him. I dare say that will be enough for a decent set of bellows. Good. Just grab these. All right. Come on. Oh, dang. Lovely. No need to ride from here. What's this all about, then? All right. Any trouble finding the skin? Nothing I couldn't handle. <laughs> there should be plenty. Right then, time to put these louts to work. If everyone pulls their weight, we'll be finished in no time. <laughs> well, I'll be damned! I honestly didn't think it'd work, but it's hot enough, all right, and without a single crystal. Exactly, guys. Sight, you don't need crystals. You know what this means, don't you? <laughs> I do, yeah. Dravosht is saved. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sorry about earlier. <laughs> I forgive you. I, uh, I take back everything I said. That thing you built us is an honest to God's marvel. You saved our village. You're welcome. It's Blackthorn you should be thanking. Yeah. He oversaw the construction. Give this to him, would you? What is it? Pet Cold Cinders. After he left, I spent years trying to eke the most out of our forges. That there was my answer. Chuck it in the fire, and your forge will burn hotter for cool. longer, which will do wonders for your steel. Our secret for yours. Only fair. No, oh, thank you. I've always envied Blackthorn. Since the day I became chief, I spent every spare moment trying to match up to the bastard. No amount of sleepless nights at the Amber will ever bridge that gap, though. He's a genius, plain and simple. The man Dravosht needed, but he took all his talent and left, gifted and free. Is it any wonder I hate his guts? Mm. The cinders would be more to from you. <laughs> He's like, don't you make me do I that. I need to forgive him first, and that's not going to happen. Damn. 
Well, you know what they say. Oriflam weren't built in a day and all that. <laughs> These things take time. Especially when they involve two geezers who hold grudges tighter than their hammers. But well what said. Is, Blackthorn's got that twinkle back in his eye. And I'd call that a job well done. <laughs> so would I. I reckon he's going to be at it a while yet, though, so why don't you head off without us? I'll see that the old git gets home safe and sound. See that you both do. I'll save the cinders till then. All right. It'll be a nice little surprise for him. Cute. Lovely. I want a set of these. What do you have to sell? Would you like to see my wares? Thank you. Here you are. Certainly. Cool. You had hardly anything. All right. <laughs> Oh. oh, don't tell me we've run out of happy or nuts and all. Gentlemen, I see you both made it home in one piece. Yeah, well, we didn't want to outstay our welcome. The whole village turned out for a go on the bellows after you left. Hmm. Everyone except Zoltan knows. Didn't see I nor air of him. Oh, but that reminds me. I have something for you. From him. Pick gold cinder. How'd you come by this? And you're sure he wanted me to have it? I'm sure. He didn't say so, but I think he wants to forgive you. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> You know I could never leave this place, don't you? Every time you put on mail, you and the curse breakers are trusting me with your lives. There's no greater honor for a smith than that. No. I'm not about to go crawling back to Zoltan for forgiveness, but I will make good use of his cinder. And if that helps save even a single life, then he'll have my gratitude. Hell yeah. What was it you said he called me? Huh? A genius? And he spent sleepless like nights like... trying to copy me, did he? Sounds like I better get to work. <laughs> I've got a reputation to uphold. It's good to see you back on form, Blackthorn. I don't know how you pair put up with me sometimes. <laughs> I'm grateful. Aww. Now, where was I? Oh, yeah. About to put Zoltan back in his place. Ain't got the art to tell him how similar they are. <laughs> Stubborn bastards. A little healthy competition should be good for him. You're not wrong. Still, it's a shame him and Zoltan couldn't let bygones be bygones. No use grumbling about it now, though. Blackthorn's happy. Or as near to happy as he gets. <laughs> as near to happy as he gets. good enough for me. <laughs> so cute. Cool. Ouroboros recipes unlocked. What do I owe the honor? What do you have? What do you want? Ice brand. Ooh. Not bad, if I do say so myself. And Ooh. the plus out this way. Lady Carrot. Sid, do you recall the flowers I had you bring back to the yard? 
Yes. Vaguely. Is something wrong? I'm afraid so. I was able to get most of the Morgan beards to take root, but they rarely flower. I fear the soil here does not agree with them. However, I believe I have a solution. I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> I'm going to marry the Morgan beards with Morbles. I know, I know, but hear me out. Morbles are possessed of a highly choleric temperament. The fire which drives them appears to be maintained by an abundance of nutrient-rich ether drawn from their environs. I believe that by grafting a Morble vine to a Morgan beard, the appendage's wealth of vigor-inducing nutrients might well stimulate the flower to bloom. All right, give it a go. I assure you, is scientifically sound. I simply need a vine to prove the theory. Cool. And all you need is a single vine from an ordinary morble. That is correct. A single vine. As for the morble, I fear ordinary may not suffice. But as luck would have it, a most extraordinary oh, no. specimen is rumored to haunt the swamps of Rosaria. Why, a notice, yep, a notice on the hot board. This very creature was only recently posted. How okay. timely. Well, I shan't keep you any longer. I know you have much to do, as do I. Cool. Please, sir, can I have some more ball? Right, huh? Okay, good. I'm working on bringing another one of Lachish's designs to life. This time, it's a new smelter. It's got a reverberatory hood over the top for additional thermo amplification mm -hmm. and a system of reciprocal recirculatory regenerators that that. Um, None of this makes. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's to just me. say it gets very blimmin' hot. <laughs> okay. A heck of a lot hotter than anything Blackthorn's got in his forge, that's for certain. Only mythical engines get hotter. And you can't chuck ore in one of them and get met like the other end. <laughs> Trouble is, we won't be able to make it out of any old rubbish, neither. We need the good stuff. Okay, what's the good and stuff? I hear you once helped Helena get her hands on exactly that. Who's Helena you again? She could help me. I forget. <laughs> if it's for the good of the hideaway, I'd be happy to. Oh, it is. I promise you. So, what exactly is this good stuff you need me to find? Yeah, what's the good stuff? We've got a couple of examples here. Spherical echoes, we call them. More fallen materials. Okay. So this smelter is similar to the mithril engine in more ways than one. That's right. They're a bit like the thermal helms. Fallen ceramics deal with heat like nothing else, see? And what's more, they're directional. Transferring heat from the inside to the outside. But these things, they're all outside. If we line the hub with them, they'll reflect the heat right back into the furnace. Oh, cool. We've collected as many as we can. And I know where we can get the rest. Okay. Trouble is, they're all watched over by their bigger, uglier cousins. That's all right. So I can deal with them. Ruins, destroy some echoes and bring back the spheres they're guarding. That's it in a nutshell. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Three short mind. And we know exactly where they are. Good. There's one up Amber Way in that ruin that they call Lost Plume. And another in the Silent South over in Dalmechia. Last one is in the ruins of Advent, which is in the Empire. All right, then. Wish me luck. <laughs> It'll do. 
I'll be keeping all my fingers and toes crossed. Lovely. Even weirder science. <laughs> Great. With Canva in the hands of Akashic. Another mission? Heard the bad news then, did you? What? What bad news? What happened? About Dravosht. Blackthorn's old horn. With the forge and all that. No, what happened? Well, anyway, the mines just down the road from there are spewing out ether like no one's business. Oh boy. And the village? Safe from the flood for now, but they've got other problems. Akashic. Yeah. Every hmm. creature in the area is either turned or on the way to turning, apparently. Zoltan and the others are living on borrowed time. They need help, and quick. Okay. Doris sent a few curse breakers to keep an eye on things, but there's only so much a couple of scouts can do. Except get eaten. Oh god, don't say Something that. Something ain't done soon. The old place will be overrun. Okay. I won't let that happen. Didn't think you would. <laughs> Does Blackthorn know? I thought it might be better if he didn't. Yeah. He'd only do something stupid. You right. reckon we should tell him? No. It's better this way. Yeah. Well, I can't stand about knowing what's happening out there, so I'm off. I'll see you in Dravost. All right. Okay. Alrighty, everyone. I'm going to end this episode here. I've got a bunch of the plus side missions to do when I'm ready. And, uh, yeah. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.